There you go. We have, so there's the... Are you, are you on video right now? Yes, I am. Okay, so can you just point the camera right in here? Yes. So here's what I'm talking about, trying to attach this to the structure, is to fill in with some wood right along in here to get a screw into the structure because it's attached can you count can you see yeah. down here so it's attached here with little nails and then it's all the way up to here till we get back to attach to the structure so i'm trying to figure out a better way as you can see the old wood is pulling away i would like to put another piece in here Right where she's showing it with the camera to get this piece attached to the structure so that's one part of it the other part of it here if you can we see up underneath here i don't know if you can see anything or not this is the pieces can you see my hand yep okay so that's the pieces that support the gutter the old gutter that we rebuilt i would like to take this piece push it up get it where it needs to be, put a piece of wood behind here that attaches to this, to this supporting timbers of the gutter, attached to the bottom of it to get a support to put a screw right where my finger is, to support this so we have structural attachment here and here. As it is right now, the only place that it is attached is way down here this is all just metal as you can see you want to point the camera to there yeah so you can see that's all just metal all the way up to the there you go completely that's a good picture. empty completely empty it's attached okay hold so, the camera for just a second right okay. there I just slip past you here yeah. okay so Right here is the only place that it's attached. All of this is completely empty. And we come all the way, can you follow my yep. hand? All the way out to here till we'll attach back to structure again. So hey, can you point to where it's uh, attached once more? Way up here. Beautiful. Way up here is the only place it's attached. And then, uh, and the cornices themselves latch into... They latch here, correct. Yes. So this little hole, that's how they attached everything together. It seems like a lot of these pieces were soldered together. There's no caulk, there's no evidence, there's no... Uh, I mean, obviously a lot of it's breaking. It looks like somebody caulked a lot of these corners, but that wouldn't be original. So it looks like this was soldered all of these pieces were like put together like a puzzle but the best i can tell is this piece here is attached by a lip this piece of metal are you on it yep okay so that piece of metal is a little lip that this piece slips over and simply just sat up underneath here okay and so That's the using best. this slightly closer one to me that is the little lip he is talking about Correct. So, what I'm hoping is that we can take this piece that's on here right now and we can leave it here. Hopefully we can leave that here. And because if we don't, we have to get up underneath. This is, this is part of the gutter that we rebuilt, this gray piece of metal attaches into my gutter that I rebuild and if we have to get if this piece has to come down we have to get into the the gutter that is rebuilt and that's just you know it's like you and I talked yeah. about it's just gonna make yeah we're going hundreds, back hundreds of man hours to get into that so hopefully this can stay we can put some supports in here in the back we can attach it do whatever we need to do here and then maybe a lot of this has to come down and be restored but and uh, those little bits of light that you are seeing now on the video is the uh the openings for those little lips right here for the cornices so that is not any kind of structural damage that's just 
Can can your camera see way up? Can can you turn it? Let we'll see it. Way up here is the only place that this fascia is attached to. And from the inside, you can clearly see that. I don't know if the video is going to let us yeah, see that. Yeah, I think or that, not. that got it. Yeah. Here's into the attic. That's looking in behind, and if you if you get down close, you can see the just piles of bird droppings that are back there. And behind here, it's just it's just piles of it. So that's going to have to be part of cleaning out and cleaning this up. I believe okay. so. But luckily, we have this that we can attach to with wood. We're very fortunate to have that. So you're thinking that if we put up a beam to screw into these pieces, mm -hmm. and then we would have much more surface area to then attach. And then this right here, so it'd be like this. We have a piece of wood supporting. We could screw right through this and attach that in. And I don't know if you can kind of see. Yeah. See how yeah, it's it's shaking down to the corner. It's not it's not stable. Oh, and there goes a bird. <laughs> the, the birds like it, but we don't. And you can see how it's coming apart. Yeah, just down see how it's, just, it's not it's, even anymore and it's and just coming out. Down there where that's kind of really pushing out, if you compare it to where it's still attached, then you look at this, it's probably two inches or more of pushing out. My guess is, according to what I found here, that's gonna be full of bird poop behind And there. so that's Just what's full. kind of pushing that it out. Seems, seems to be what's pushing it out. You can see it over here as well. See how that was pushing it out? Yeah, and that's what all kind of fell down and below. And it just falls down in there and it keeps pushing it out. That's what's happening here. See, this wood is not rotted. It's still solid wood, but look at how full it is. It's just pushing it away. Yeah. Here I went ahead, you can turn the camera on this hole right here. I dug that out. Can you see that? See how deep yeah. that is? I'll stick my hand. Hold on, I'll go to the other side again. Okay. See that? Yeah. That's how much debris Three, five, we six have. Inches. Yeah. It's, it's probably six inches deep behind there. That's just full and of debris. And that really would yeah. have to, my opinion is that has to be cleaned out yeah and reattached and and done right now i do see if you look behind this piece right here um there does seem to be a board going this way for a short stint there is right there yeah and i that's most, probably just falling most down likely from the that's top. just a piece that fell down from the gutter okay i don't think that's anything that that we have to worry about okay but i wonder how much that has happened in other places though that's contributing to the falling out. All right, should I go ahead and stop it? I think I think we're good. Okay. Thank you. Hopefully that will help them to see, get an idea of what's going on up here. Yeah. Because see, this is see how the angle of it. Back in the corner, you can see. Yeah. Are you still videoing? Yeah. Okay, so back in the corner you can see that this lip is actually supposed to be flat. Oh gosh. See that? Yeah. Okay, so look at this. So this piece of wood is supposed to be all the way up against the building. And it's been pushed it's out. It's been pushed out by all this debris. Oh god. Okay. Yeah. So that's what hopefully that helps to clarify things as well. This is not supposed to be an angle. That, that is supposed to be flat. This piece of wood needs to be all the way up against the building to look like that. So you can see that some of the places it's still attached properly. Yeah. But there's a lot of places where this has been pushed and out. We need to get that and, back and, and that secure needs it. To, in places where it's looking like this, I think the only option is to get rid of this piece and get in here. I don't know of any other way how to get in here to clean this out, put that wood back where it belongs, reattach all of this, and then just kind of start over. In some places where we're flush, everything is good. 
possibly we could leave it. So, hopefully that helps. Beautiful. We've now got it documented.